Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. This is Jester Kyle, and a good afternoon and good evening. This is Jester Kyle, and it is a kind jester. You would have me as your jester. That I want to be just your Kyle. Um, we had someone submit a psi spell um, earlier. Oh, I can't have this music going on. Um, we had someone uh, submit a psi spell, and I am here down in the mining area to test it out. Um, I attached it to a grenade bullet. So let's see if it fires. CAD stats are too weak to cast the spell. No! Okay. So I am going to need to get a better CAD. Let's see. Um, basic CAD, signaling CAD, large CAD. So I can, I can do a large CAD. Transmissive CAD. Huge CAD. Huge cat will draw. Save vector is 21. Um, ultra dense cad battery. That would increase the overflow. Cad core. Redactive. Hyperclocked. Diamonds we're talking about here. Conductive cad core. All right, well, that is good to know. Um, let us switch back to selected, um, to the mining spell, because the mining spell is very basic. Um, okay, so uh, that will have to wait. Uh, that the spell that's supposed to make enemies explode. Um, unfortunately, my cad is not up to snuff, so we can work on that. Um, when I have some more diamonds, uh, because it seemed like the diamonds was the best way to go. Um, uh, or we can go for three, four, and then a piece of glowstone. Let's pull out this one, that's not going to destroy anything. Okay, uh, apparently that's not how you make psi metal. Huh, okay. Well, there are a couple other things that I wanted to craft today. Um, first, we're going to need more Batania magic. Uh, more Batania mana. So let's do what we can um, to increase that. Okay, so just some basic general base stuff for right now. Um, eventually we'll get uh, better tools. Yeah, that, well, that one's growing. It just Wayla's not showing up on it. Um, Sounds like our generator is working. So, are you low on power? Yeah, you can be filled up on power. Everything's full up, though. Okay, what do we need? Dumping excess. Okay. What we need right now is um, the last ring uh, that I would like. Um, I would like the Ring of Aura from Batania. Um, so the first bit of the episode is going to be me crafting the Ring of Aura. Um, uh, the Ring of Aura requires... Uh, uh, a Rune of Mana, and Rune of Mana requires a Runic Altar. Um, runic Altar means that I'm going to need another Mana Spreader um, to get the mana into the Mana Spreader. So let's cook up some gold. Um, 
I don't know what you mean by that. Someone just talked in chat. Uh, it's probably because I've just been talking about uh, Hmm. Hmm. Okay. So we'll need a bit of gold for Okay. I'll get back to you. Okay, we'll need one piece of gold for the mana spreader. Six pieces of this, and one petal. Mana spreader. I'm um, going to need the mana in there. Enough mana to do. Nope, to transmit a diamond. And then on top of that, we're going to need enough mana to transmute the rest of the, the metals in my inventory. Should have had this running in between episodes. That would have been the smart thing to do. Okay, so we have enough to make that. Not a huge fan of the puzzle that we've got going on right there. Those can go on there. Those can go on there. So this is the runic art uh, altar. So the second that we, this is uh, the uh, enlarged crafting crafting table from uh, Batania. So we need five pieces of, we need one ender pearl, five pieces, hey, it all worked. And then we're going to need enough mana um, to craft the Rune of Mana, which is looks like it's going to be far more than we currently have. But we can just let it take its time. So, mana will be generated by these two endo flames, sent into the mana spreader, into the into the mana pool. The mana spreader that is attached to the pool will automatically output um, mana into the runic uh, runic altar as long as it has enough mana to do so as long as it has a full on that so it should be a smooth system until we are done and then on top of that we're going to need four more mana for um, four more mana steel which we probably are, am not going to have just um, equipped. But once we get this, we'll have a little bit more passive income of mana, which will be nice. Um, so that's still going to take a while. But that's going to be one living rock. We'll get it. We'll, and the living rock will be engraved with the pattern of mana. So the next thing that I've been thinking about is um, this, the hollow sphere. 
Uh, this is from the mod Tetra. This allows us to um, look at the information of um, uh, of the different materials and see what level hammer it will need, what durability it would be at, uh, what the magic um, the magic capacity, and lots of other information. Um, so the biggest comparison that I've been doing right now is between diamonds and mana steel. Um, mana steel has the same hardness, so I believe that means it should do the same damage um, as diamonds. It has more flexibility, so I think that means that it will attack faster. It has way, way less durability, but it also has the mana repair ability. So as long as we have mana, it will repair itself. Um, so just like the hilt of it. Oh, it is ready. So when it is ready, we drop a living rock on it, and then smack it with the wand, and we get the, um, we get the rune that we were hoping for. So now we let the mana pool fill up a little bit, so that we can get, hey, all four. Awesome. So, rune of mana. It's us the Ring of Aura, Band of Aura. So we put that on, and now our Band of Mana will slowly be passively filled up um, with mana. So we can put the... Uh, we've got our last ring. Last ring, get us some bling. Um, we don't have any other artifacts, because we really haven't gone mining all that much. Um, I would like to do that a bit uh, off camera, but only after we have the storage system up, uh, up and running. Um, sort of container. So, refined storage is, is the goal, um, but refined storage is going to come after we get more power. And the best way to get power. Um, we can get rid of these things. So we could work on the Sojourner's Sash. Rune of Air. I don't know if I have the string for this. Or the feathers. Earth, coal, stone, that. Okay, so I'll need to look for a mushroom. And more more feathers so that I could make a carpet. Alright. That means I need to check our farm for... Oh, the industrial hemp has grown. Okay, let's tend to the farm. Um, Get us all the aubergine. And one of the, the first things that I would really like is automated farms. Um, but automated farms come at the cost of power. So we are very much right now bottlenecked by power. Um, there are two mods that I would like to get into. Um, further into mechanism and um, into uh, sort of container. Um, uh, and into a mod called Power. Um, power will allow us to generate power through um, uh, through many different sources. So, uh, at power will allow us to store store power in um, these energy cells, um, transmit power through energy cables. Those are a little bit more expensive than uh, the mechanism, or not not as expensive, but they required clay. So clay was something that we didn't have. Uh, and it was a little bit easier to do stone. Um, Furnators will um, 
generate 15 FE per tick, um, which is the exact same amount of FE or uh, slightly under the FE per tick that our current uh, solar uh, will generate at, um, at the cost of some iron, redstone, and uh, coal, lava, and clay. So we need to get some lava buckets, um, we need to get some clay, we need to get some um, of that kind of stuff, and, uh, and uh, or blaze powder. But I don't really want to use blaze powder right now because I only have the two blaze rods. Um, So uh, let's uh, let's go. Uh, I'm going to do a, a jump cut. Uh, I'm going to need to gather some of these resources, um, and then I will come back when I'm ready to begin some crafting in power. So I will see you soon. Hello and welcome back. Um, I have just begun crafting. I've got a bunch of these dielectric paste um, that I made down in the uh, the by. The, the Y level of lava. Um, I forgot to start the recording when I created these Furnator starters. Um, I created four of them. Um, and next, I need to make the Furnator basics. Um, so, Furnators, dielectric rods, dielectric rods, horizontal. So, dielectric casing. Three, one, two, three, one, two, okay. So we're still going to need one more. We're gonna need lots more iron. We're going to need 20 pieces of iron for the um, the final casing of it. So iron is being smelted. We need to make more of these. So each one of these gets one of those. And then each one of these gets two of those. And then five iron. And five iron each. For the Furnator basic. Okay. Um, lots of dielectric powder. So this is going to be more power, more power than is required um, to get everything up and running. But it is, uh, um, and it's the unfortunate thing is that it's not automated right now. Um, let's get. Get some power cables and set these up where we where, uh, where a good spot would be basic universal cables it looks like we're going to need more of these unless I get creative with the placement so two three four one two three four uh, there and up top so, uh, side side up top up top um, will be the, the placement um, because we don't have the or we should have the iron um, Things are just crafting up Ten so we have enough to make two. We'll still need ten more um, Another thing that I can make is speed upgrades for these machines, but they require More power if you go for the speed upgrades and more power is not something that I have and and or is willing to provide right now um so we are now down to our last piece of redstone dust so immediately after this i'm going to go on a uh, mining spree and uh so in between episodes you'll uh, you will see a mining spree i'll let you know about uh, how much i got and how many levels i got too um let's check this because it looks like it's out of coal so we do have some mana let's drop our Band of mana in there. Is it should be filling up the the band? Oh, I think we had it in the reverse. Yeah. 
But regardless, it's nighttime, so we should sleep. Um, and every time you see the, the ring kind of bounce up and down in my hand, um, that means that the uh, band of aura is filling up the, the mana. Uh, filling up the mana. Yep, just right there. Bounce up and down. Um, when the that bounce happens, the item is being changed um, and mana is being inputted. So that's just the, the passive gain that we, we will expect from uh, the future uh, with the the Band of Aura that we created earlier this episode. Alright, and hopefully ooh, I still need to power up the jetpack. Seven, three more. Three more, please. Okay, let's put this wand away. Um, and we are going to need a an anvil um, so that we can enchant. Uh, we can apply the enchantment books that we've gotten right here to our armor. Because um, we've got protection three, which would be very nice to put on a, a piece of armor. Um, granted, I don't think I'm going to enchant this set of armor. I'm probably going to wait for the next one. I'm going to continue to work on boot, uh, books, and when this armor wears out through mining and running into mobs, uh, I'm going to put the, the best enchants that I've gotten on the next, pair, next set of armor. So I'm going to be a little bit patient and hope for the best. Um, there are some things through uh, industrial foregoing that will help us uh, increase the uh, uh, increase the probability of getting something good um, by being able to uh, break down uh, being able to break down enchantments off of other items so that I can apply them to my own items. Um, that is a goal, but that is something that's going to have to wait until after um, the uh, the getting. That requires a lot of power, so again, we are bottlenecked by the amount of power that we have. So one basic, two basic, three basic, oh, that's starter, four basic, ah, ah, ah. Alright, then let's grab some... We have a lot of oak planks. Two, three, and four. So we can throw these four stacks of oak planks because they have served their purpose. They have gotten us the um, uh, they have gotten us the sawdust which we needed for creating the cardboard boxes. Um, other than that, the planks would really just be used for crafting, and um, and I would be A-OK -okay with getting more, uh, more planks in the future. So each one of these is going to output at um, 70 FE per tick. So, our, so before we just had um, our solar panel, which was producing 15.5 FE per tick uh, in the middle of the day, granted, um, and our heat generator, which is pro providing about 6.7 FE per tick. Um, that is one of uh, that original setup is not even close to what this uh, this setup can handle. So this setup is going to um, burn through this, uh, output all of its uh, power into here. Um, we're going to get that filled up. We're going to be able to use these machines whenever we want, so not just during the daytime. And um, we should have enough power to power a um, a refined storage power uh, refined storage situation, um, which is something that's going to have to wait until next episode. Um, because that's going to require a lot of quartz and a lot of iron. Um, 
So let's get our iron cooking. And uh, I can go over some of the recipes with you about what it's going to take, uh, what it's going to require. Um, I believe it requires about six diamonds to get started. Um, uh, at where you find. Um, so we are going to need a um, crafting monitor, which is going to be one monitor. No, not a crafting monitor. A uh, crafting grid, which is going to require one diamond. Um, we're going to need a um, a controller, a disk drive, which is going to be another diamond. We're going to need a um, controller, which is another diamond. So that's three already. On top of any of the uh, the 64Ks uh, disk drives, which I would like to hop immediately into making 64Ks, which is another four diamonds. Um, so I'm going to need to do a lot of mining in between this episode and the next, but it's predominantly uh, three different uh, disk drive, three different uh, advanced processors are going to be required just to get the basics up with the um, here, let me add this to the side over here, that can be removed. Um, the crafting grid and the uh, disk, not disk manipulator, uh, disk drive. So just to get those three blocks up, that's going to be three diamonds, and we only have two diamonds, I believe. So we've got... No, we only have one diamond, um, because I used a diamond to craft the um, runic altar uh, this episode. So, uh, so yeah, um, so I've got a bit of mining uh, on the docket. Um, so in between the, this episode and the next episode, I want to say a big thank you very much to everyone who's tuned in. Um, I hope you guys all have a great rest of your day. Uh, and if there's anything I can do or help you out with, please stop by the, um, or feel free to stop by the Twitch channel. Um, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Uh, thank you very much, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Take it easy.